in Bioshock, Tenenbaum, the character Tenenbaum, was sort of exploring the work that was going on in DNA at the time you know, the work that Crick and Watson were doing. And she was building upon that. And that, you know, a very, very radical enhancement of that work was done by Tenenbaum and, and, and Su Chong. And you get the world of plasmids that make the original Bioshock. Elizabeth's not a scientist, but she has the ability to interact with the kind of science that was being done in this period, the kind of science that was being done by Einstein, the kind of science that was done, was being done by Heisenberg all this sort of the world of physics that's being explored you know around the turn of the century and how the science in the same way crick and watson were opening our eyes up to what was inside our body these scientists einstein and heisenberg and and max planck were were opening our eyes to what existed around the universe and um everybody can see in the world of columbia these tears that are windows into these worlds that Heisenberg and, and Einstein were starting to explain to us. Elizabeth can actually reach into those worlds and, man, and manipulate them. And that's what her power, that's what you're seeing her do in the world. And that becomes this great game system we call the tears in Bioshock Infinite, where you'll be in a space and you'll see uh, a, a window where you see a skyline that doesn't exist in in the Columbia that, that that Booker is in, you'll see a turret maybe that doesn't exist in the in, in the in the Columbia that Booker exists in. You'll see a a bunch of founders who might come in and help you fight the Vox Popular guys you're, you're fighting who doesn't exist in the world of version of Columbia that that Booker is in. And Elizabeth is essentially saying to you is, I can bring one of these three in for you, Booker. Which one do you want me to bring in? And that's up to the player. I think I can help. Tell me which one you want. That one. Now! We're gonna have all these tools that player has that the player can access via Elizabeth that is gonna make everybody's play experience different. And that's that's what we always want with Bioshock. We want the way I play it, the way you play it, the way he plays it to be different. Um, and that's Elizabeth's ability to manipulate Terrors is just another great way to do that. Uh, uh.